Once again, we are in the corner. Mm. Speaker's corner. Yes. Myself. We love speaker's corner. Myself and uh, Salini mm. is here. Salini, what makes you came to the corner? Why Why do you came here, the corner? I came to save souls, Muslims, in the name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God. Right. I think um, I came to the corner because a few years ago, I used to watch videos about Bob and um, Brother Aaron. Mm. These were the two guys who really inspired me personally mm. to came to the corner. I used to watch their videos and I was like, is this, is this in London? Mm. Because people are just, there's a strong sense of, you know, um, uh, physical. And I was like, okay, so I came here and it, I think since ever since I came here, I have seen so many things for myself. Mm. But what makes us come here? When we talk about God, God is interested in souls. Yes. You understand? And when we talk about souls, mm. Sister Shailina, what are we talking about? Souls. God is interested about souls. What is souls in your understanding? Okay. God is a God. Uh, God is love. Okay? Nothing outside love is not God. God is love, God is merciful, God is kind, just and pure, holy, righteous. That is God. God is love. Anything outside love is not God. So dear friends, for me, uh, soul you are asking. Yes, soul. souls, yeah. Okay. S-O-U-L, souls, yeah. Okay, soul is when God made Adam and for the first time he breathed he breathed his breath into that body and that man became a living soul mm. so dear friends saving a soul means you are saving that person spiritually spiritually by telling him the truth of the real god right. who is the god who is the way who is the truth and who will give you eternal life so we've heard from sister shalini mm. you know souls are very 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 important to god mm. and when we look it from the scripture position mm. you realize that when jesus died and rose from the dead jesus spoke to his disciple he gave them one of the biggest commission he said go into the world yes, yes. and do what preach the gospel why do we have to go to the world and preach the gospel because souls are everywhere okay so dear friends this world is full of sin we uh, once adam and eve sinned we all have fallen short of the glory of god and we all have sinned and we are born in sin this is a sinful world and Say, uh, why God told us to go and preach the gospel? Because that one God alone, the God of the heaven and the earth, has done the salvation plan on the cross. Mm. Salvation means spiritually. God always works spiritually. You know, a lot of people have understanding of God that God works uh, physical way. No. God says, as far as the heaven is from the earth, right. my ways and my thoughts are like that right my ways are not your ways my thoughts are not your thoughts that's what God says wow. and God says go and preach the gospel because we know that Jesus Christ as literally God in flesh as Messiah who has fulfilled all the prophecies of the Bible of the Old Testament Jesus Christ has physically fulfilled and to save the mankind God literally came down as God in flesh mm. only to save the mankind spiritually from sin, from eternal death and from Satan. Because when we sinned, the wages of sin was death. But the gift of life, gift of God is eternal life. Who is that gift? Jesus Christ is that free gift. Mm. And Jesus Christ came only to save the mankind from sin, from eternal death. 
He changed that eternal death into eternal life. That whosoever believes in him will not perish, but spiritually saved. Spiritually, physically we all are going to die, mm. but spiritual saving is only God can do. Okay. And that God has done it. So See, believe in Jesus as God, Lord and Savior. You've heard our sister talking. Today I want us to draw our attention on a very important, something called the good news. Mm. Um, uh, the good news. Please go to First Corinthians. Mm. Uh, I know my, my Bible is falling apart. Mm. Maybe one of the viewers will, will surprise <laughs> me. <laughs> First Corinthians chapter yeah. 5, chapter 15. Yeah. Uh, you know, when we talk about souls, as uh, my dear First sister was talking about, chapter 15, mm. verse 1 to 5. The 15. gospel, yes. Mm. The gospel, most of you have heard about what is called the gospel. And the gospel is nothing but good news. Mm. If anybody goes out and if you have a neighbor, and the neighbor go out and do a shopping and said, oh, I'm thinking about Shalini. Let me do a, a, a shopping and give it, bring it and give it to Sister Shalini. Mm. And mm. what is that? It's a good news because mm. you didn't ask for it. No, Maybe hear it. Yeah. yeah, it didn't ask freely for it. given. Freely given. Yes. So maybe the moment that food will come, you mm. probably don't have anything yes. in your kitchen. And somebody gives me food. And somebody gives you food. So it's a good news. Yes. God is interested in souls. Soul. Saving souls. Saving yes. souls. The reason why Jesus came into our world yes. is to uh, bring our mind on the need of we redemption. Redemption. So to be redeemed. To redeem. To be bought with a price. To be bought with and a price. That is his precious blood. The precious blood. Nothing can purchase us apart from Jesus' blood. Yes, yes. So when you read First Corinthians chapter 15, mm. verse 1 to 4, mm. Paul was saying something. What is he saying? Okay. First Corinthians 15, 1 to 4. Moreover, brethren, I Paul declare, was talking to the Corinthian church and said, Moreover, brethren, mm. when you hear the word brethren, he's talking to a company of people. Yes. Right? Mm. I declare to you the gospel which I preach to you. I declare to you the mm. gospel which I preach to mm. you. Okay. In which I in which also you receive and in so, which you stand. You see, it's a two-way communication. Yes, yes, the yes. gospel that I preach mm. and the gospel that you receive. You, receive, yes. you understand? Mm. So please go on. By which also you are saved. By which also you are saved. Mm. So a man can be saved through the medium of the gospel. Yes. You understand? A man cannot be saved because you have eaten too much masala mm. and begin to have a, a wonderful cheesecake dessert and think that your belly is popped up. So you are saved. All I can say is your good works cannot save, mm. your, save you. Only God yeah. has done that salvation plan yeah. that whosoever believes will be saved that's right that's right. so paul was saying the gospel which i receive mm. and which you are saved mm. okay please go on and what is that gospel if you hold fast that word mm. which i preach to you unless mm. you believed in vain so paul is saying mm. when you hear the gospel mm. hold it fast mm. take it as like a treasure yeah. you know when you have a treasure Yes. You, you try to keep the treasure in yeah, a very yeah. good location yeah. that nobody can tamper mm. with that mm. treasure. Mm. So Paul said, believe in that unless you believe mm. in vain. Okay, mm. verse number For three. I delivered to you first. P Paul said, when I received the gospel, I, I delivered the mm. gospel to you first. Mm. Okay. That Christ died for our sins. Christ Jesus Amen. died for our sins. Yes. Sin what is, is a, sin? Can you explain what is sin? Sin is a human biggest problem. Transgression of the God's law. Every human being across the world, yes. uh, we all have one common enemy. And yeah. the common enemy is sin. sin. Yeah. If you are European, you struggle with it. If you are from Asia, you struggle with it. If you are from Africa, you struggle with it. So mm. Christ Jesus did what? Yes. Pay for Paid what? Paid for our sins. Mm. 
died for our sins die for our and sins that he was buried mm. and that he rose again the third day mm. according to the scripture according to what scripture according to the what scripture on the third day he was resurrected so jesus christ mm. did die mm. when you go back to history mm. jesus died but when we come to the park my dear sister some say jesus didn't die that is what islam teaches mm. but according to the bible when jesus died there were numerous of people yeah. who had encounter when jesus died and rose from the dead yeah. he appeared to many people yeah. can you please tell us three people that jesus after okay the, he was seen by Cephas he was seen by Cephas then by over uh, 12 disciples the 12 who are they Ma 12 are? disciples Matthew, Matthew Mark Ma Luke Matthew Mark, Peter Peter Bartholomew James, James, James Jude Jude Bartholomew Bartholomew uh, uh, all these were yeah. all these people were yes. men who followed they were Jesus seen. Jesus they were was seen, seen by them. By. Yes. So if anybody is telling you yes. that Jesus did not die, ah. my brother, run away for your life, because the death and resurrection of Christ, my sister, they had meaning. Yeah. That the meaning of Jesus' death mm -hmm. and his resurrection, mm. there's also a meaning. What is the meaning of the death of Jesus? Mm. The meaning of death is. You are buried in sin mm. but you are resurrected in eternal life through Jesus Christ. You see, I don't know some of you are watching when you go and have insurance. Mm. Let's say you and your husband uh and your husband decide to take on a life insurance. Mm. Yeah. Mm. What is the purpose of life insurance? Mm. That is to secure you in case you are You know, something happens to you. So the you very person who loves you, if that person died yeah. or for whatever reason, they have reason, left you money behind. So they've left you, you money yes. behind yes. to continue, even though the you life. have died and mm. gone. The bills and responsibility yes. carries on. Yes. So the death of Jesus Christ mm. Mm, pays the death, mm. pays our sin, death of and His resurrection. Yes. Give us what I call eternal, e life. eternal life. Eternal life is a free gift for all. Those who believe in Him will have eternal life. So Paul said, mm. the the gospel, mm. the gospel, mm. Jesus died yes. according to what scriptures, and He was, he was buried. buried. Jesus, you know why? When you go to Israel today, mm. where Jesus was buried. Yeah. It has become one of the economic city mm. for the nation Israel. Yes. People travel all over the world yeah. and go. Have you been? Yeah. Have you been there yourself? Yeah. So tell them when you went there. What, what did you experience? Okay, I've been to Israel and I've seen the tomb of Jesus mm. as mentioned in the Bible. Mm. The tomb is empty. Wow. And uh, the tomb is uh, uh, the tomb is there. Carved out of a rock, mm. as mentioned in the Bible, and the tomb is empty. That means the one who was buried in that tomb mm. resurrected My goodness. for the sins of the whole world to give them eternal life. And who was Jesus? Mm. Resurrection mm. is eternal life for the whole world. My good. And who was buried in that tomb? He mm. said when he went there, the tomb was empty. Yes. And. Um, Who was in that tomb in the first place? Okay. They after Jesus crucifixion, mm. they laid him in the tomb. Right. Jesus was in the tomb 3 days and 3 nights. My goodness. And he was resurrected early morning on Sunday. My goodness. So dear Jesus friend, was resurrected. That's and why the tomb came. is empty. Yes. And that's why the Bible said what? Many people have seen him after Many people have seen him. Over 500. Over 500. Brethren at once. And mm. once 500 people saw him. When Jesus ah. died mm. and rose from the dead, mm. there were a group of women mm. uh, yes. in the person of Mary Magdalene, Mary Magdalene. Joanna Salome, yes. and Jesus' mother, mother himself, who was called Mary. Yes. All 
all these Being women are living are eyewitnesses. They were all uh -huh. eyewitnesses. Yes. Not just one person. Yes. And in Islam, they told that Jesus did not resurrect, Jesus did not crucify. That is the biggest lie the devil wants to tell the whole world, my dear friends. Jesus came to this world only to pay penalty of our sins on the cross and to give us eternal life. You see, when we look at this case, yeah, mm. they are doing a case that when you go to court mm. and you see the six judges yeah, yeah. who sit on the panel mm. and you just go and make your case, mm. for the judges to believe in what you are saying, mm. what do you need to do? You need to bring your bring evidence. Your evidences, yes, yes. So when we take this mm. scripture yes. to These a Supreme Court, yes. how many evidence, mm. how many people will show up in the court to defend this case? 500, then 12 people, then Kephas, then James. My God. How many people have seen Jesus? And in the court, we can bring only maybe 10, 20, 50 people. But Jesus was seen by more than 500 Kephas people. Kephas will show up. Yes. Peter James will, will show, show up. James. Matthew Peter. will show up. All the apostles. All the apostles. Uh -huh. And last of all, he was seen by Paul. Paul, who was uh -huh. a Pharisee <laughs> and became That's it. a believer, yes. also will show yes. up. That means it will be an interesting case in the court. Yes, yes. I'm sure all the judges in that courtroom they will be astonished by the number of people, people that will show up. Yeah. You understand? So it is for your interest, yes. if you are watching this, mm. it's for your interest to arm yourself. Mm. Because the Bible, Jesus says something in Matthew 24, mm. verse 5. Please mm. run with me, Matthew 24, verse 5. Matthew chapter 24, mm. Matthew is a disciple of Jesus Christ. Mm. Matthew 24, verse 5. What does the Bible say? Okay. For many will come in my name. Jesus said in the last days, mm, many this Matthew come. 24, Jesus was giving forecasts okay. about the end time. And he said, in the end time, in the end time many will do what? No, not to get deceived. No few, many. For many will come in my name. So that means if you are that an American, Christ. if you are an American, you should watch out. If you are an African, you should watch out. If you are in Asia, you should watch out because many shall come what in my, in name. my name. And why would they come in? And deceive you. And deceive. Deceive you. Yes. Please, if you are watching, hold yeah. on, hold firm to the Lord Jesus because Christ. Because many, Jesus said, many will come in my name and mm. say, I am Christ. But my dear friends, when Jesus comes, every eye shall see. My goodness. Whether you are in America. Whether you are in India, whether you are in Uganda, or whether you are in Saudi Dubai, every eye shall see the coming of Lord Jesus Christ. So the scripture said, read five again. For he many said, will come in my name. For many shall come. Why would they come in the name of Jesus? Mm. Not any other name. He said, for many shall come in my name. That saying, I am Christ. I am because Christ. Because they want to show themselves as Christ. You know? You understand? So that means they are standing in, they Deceivers. become they become counterfeit, yes. right? Jesus is the right hand. And if you move the same place, go to eleven. And what does eleven say? Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. You see, Jesus was talking mm. here. Mm. He said, For many shall come in my name. False then prophets. he went further and said, Many false prophets, prophets will do come. what? There were many people who will come, mm. the spirit mm. of Antichrist. Mm. Men who oppose yes. the death and the yes. resurrection yes. of Christ. Mm. Because in his death and his resurrection, yeah. it provides us freedom. Yes. It provides us yes. salvation. It brings us closer to God. So Amen. when these men come in and they begin to stand mm. in, in the stead of Jesus, mm. what they are doing is, they mm. are freaking the other side of the coin mm. instead of freaking the, uh, the the front side of the coin. Mm. So Jesus said, "Be careful, mm. my dear sister. Mm. Be careful. If you are watching, mm. hold on, hold Lord on Lord. to yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. Our world is changing. So is your salvation. Amen. Your salvation in Jesus. Jesus paid a high price." Yes.
the price paid by Jesus was not a common mm. price, a high price. Jesus was humiliated Amen. in order to bring us yes. back to God. Mm. So the Bible said, for many shall do what? Deceive you. Many shall deceive you. Because lawlessness will abound. Mm. The love of many will grow cold. I read it. But he who endures My to the end shall be saved. My goodness. Amen. He who does what? Endures. endures. If you are Forever. watching and your strength is gone down, yeah. come back home. You see, I'm, I use this line, come back home, because you see, the grace of God is like mm. a deep ocean. Mm. Have you been to... Uh, uh, beach lately, seaside lately. No. You know when you go to the seaside, yeah. do you see how beautiful the place is? Yes. You see a big sea. Mm. At the same time, the sea can ac mm. uh, accommodate mm. 2,000 people yeah. and the sea will not shrink. Yeah. Why? It's like the grace of God. Yes. So the arm of God is ever ready to embrace anyone who approach. You understand? So Paul said, the gospel mm. which was preached, uh, Jesus died and rose from the dead. So good people, if you are watching, you see, you are the reason why we do this. We mm. do this short, short, this thing mm. to encourage you. Yes. My sister, please go to, um, go to Galatians chapter 1 and let's draw why? the good people. You see, the people who are watching, they are so precious to mm. us mm. and precious to Galatians chapter 1. Mm. Galatians, Galatians. Galatians is uh, after the 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 the, um, the church was born. Mm. I want you to read from verse eleven going. But I make known to you, brethren. Paul is talking. Paul is Some telling. people said Paul is a liar. Some mm. people said Paul did not make Jesus. But now Paul is talking. Let's listen to what Paul is saying. But I make known to you, brethren. That Paul is gospel, saying, I make known to you, brethren. The gospel which was preached by me. Is the not, good news that you hear from me. Is not according to man. It's not according. I'm going to mean. Mm. Not according to what? Man. man. What does that mean? Because the scriptures are written, mm. inspired by God. People Not were according inspired. to man. Yes. It wasn't con uh, conveyed to me by man. But, but please, through the revelation of Jesus Christ. Re re read it. Let them, let them hear it. For I neither received it from Paul man. Paul said, I neither received the gospel mm. from any man. Nor was I taught it. Not was I taught by a scholar within the community. But it came through the revelation of from Jesus the Christ, the mm. Lord. Rima. Amen. This time it's no logo. Rima. Yeah. Jesus himself was teaching Paul. Yes. He said, to yeah, Paul had seen Jesus Christ on the way to Damascus. That's right. So Paul is not lying. Paul, is Paul not has lying. seen Jesus Christ. Paul is an apostle Jesus of Jesus Christ. Christ. Taught to talk to Paul as well. He said, um, but it came through the revelation. Revelation of Jesus Christ. What Christ's is revelation, my dear sister? Revelation means God Himself my goodness. giving His talking, conveying the message, conveying to, the message to Him directly. Revelation. And if you go there, verse, verse 13, what is Paul saying? For you have heard of my For you have heard of my former conduct. What Paul is saying, look, mm. you know my past. Ah. I was not part of this yes. community. Yes, yes. For you have heard of my former yeah, conduct. Yeah. And what happened? How Paul used to persecute the church of God beyond measure my and tried to destroy it. Paul took upon himself to ensure that the church activities and the gospel yes. that they embark on will not succeed. You understand? Yeah. My former conduct. But mm. what, please go on. And I advanced in Judaism beyond many of my contemporaries. So in I my took own my town. assignment serious. Mm. Paul was making sure that he advanced. In other words, now we are in the speaker's corner. So Paul is saying, I started persecuting the people mm. from the mm. corner. Mm. Then I went to Victoria, mm. Archway, mm. all the communities beyond yeah. to make sure anywhere the name of Jesus is being mentioned, you they will, to, they he will was, shut it He down. was persecuting Christians. Mm. He was destroying the churches. He was putting the Christians to prison. That My was goodness. Paul was doing. That was Paul's assignment. Yes. So will you say... 
He thought he's doing good for God. Mm. That's what. Please carry on. Verse 15. But when it pleased but God, when it pleased God who separated me he from my mother's me womb, from my mother's womb and called me and call me through his grace through his grace to reveal his son if you are watching the mm -hmm. grace the word grace is God it's a five letter what word is grace grace is what you don't deserve mm. the, but you get it and Gr that is called grace. Grace is a five letter yes. word. It's God riches at Christ's expense. Amen. God. Amen. The gene stands for God and the R for riches yeah. at Christ's expense. So Paul said it pleased God mm. that when I was I was separated in my mother's womb to do what? To reveal his son in me. Reveal his that son. That I might preach him among the Gentiles. If you are watching us, you are the reason why we are doing this. That the son may be revealed in you. To the Gentiles. Mm. Jews and Gentiles. Amen. Gentiles is not a Jew. So those who are Gentiles, they were not believing in Jewish God. That's that God. the son may be revealed. Who? You need to see mm. Paul. When the son was revealed in Paul. Mm. He became the preacher of the gospel. Please mm. go on. I did not immediately confer with Paul flesh said, and blood. I did not immediately after I received mm. the revelation, mm. right? Okay, please go on. But I nor did I go up to Jerusalem to I didn't go back to Jerusalem to see the, the apostles. apostles. Yes. Who are the apostles? Uh, James, uh, Matthew, John, uh, all this one. Okay. But I went to Arabia. Paul went to Arabia again land. To Damascus. <laughs> and returned back to Damascus. So straight away we went preaching. Can you imagine? <laughs> because see, Jesus has taught him. He didn't know about Jesus anything. Mm. But as soon as he met Jesus, he didn't go to his, uh, those who believe in Jesus, he didn't go and talk to them. He straight away went to Gentiles who mm. didn't know about Jesus. And he started preaching wow. because God, Jesus Christ, prepared him By to goodness. go and preach the gospel to the Gentiles. You see, the gospel to the Gentiles. Finish okay. it. When, where are you uh, finishing? Okay, then verse. Uh, then after three years, I Paul went said to after three years to see Peter. So to see after Peter. three years. Because Paul was a Pharisee, yeah, and he was he, the hierarchies yes. knew his transformation. Pharisees, Pharisees, yes. You understand? They yes. knew his transformation, yes, yes. and he said, after three years, he went I went back to where Peter, Jerusalem Peter. to see Peter, mm. and also did what? And remained with him for fifteen days. For fifteen days, okay. But go I on. saw none of the other. I apostles saw none of the apostles when I went there. James, James was the there. Lord's brother. Jesus' brother. Mm in flesh okay yes. now concerning the things which i write to you paul is saying concerning God, the things that i, I write do not to you lie. paul is saying so if paul is not lying why is people tagging paul that is mm, lying that's what paul said concerning the things that i am talking yes. about there's no iota of lying in my presentation yeah. Yeah. so why is it that when we come to the part people say yeah. oh paul has not seen god paul is lying why yeah so dear friends Paul had met Jesus on the way to Damascus and Paul was changed by Jesus to go to the Gentiles and preach the gospel mm. of Jesus Christ. So he was not lying. No. And he was changed completely. Transform. So my dear friends, when Jesus Christ comes to you, he will transform your the life. The power of transformation. You turn, you turn in your life. My goodness. So dear Muslim, Hindu, Sikh, Atheist, I will just say that you can question Jesus Christ, who are you? If you are God, reveal yourself to me. Mm. And when he reveals himself to you, he will change you mm. like uh, in the blink of an eye. My goodness. In a U-turn. My goodness. And his Holy Spirit My will rest upon you forever mm. and ever. Go, go to uh, Romans chapter 1 verse 16. So Paul said, mm. Mm. What the message I deliver to you, I am not lying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I have met the risen King, Jesus yeah. Christ. Romans? And he has chapter 1, verse 16. So after Paul received the message, yeah. what did he say to So as much as in me? 16. I am 16. Okay. 16. For I am not ashamed. For Paul is saying, I am not ashamed. Yeah. <laughs> if you are watching, you should not be ashamed of the gospel. Yes. 
because the gospel is the only remedy yes, that the world needs. The, it is the power of God. The gospel is the power the of God for to salvation. Everyone who believes. Everyone who believes. For the uh, Jew. My, my, hold on, hold on. And everyone who does what? Believes. So the gospel has no barrier. Gospel is for the whole world. Mm. Jews, Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, atheist, agnostic, anybody. For all the gospel nation. is for everyone. Jesus Christ came for everyone. Not just Christians, but for the whole world. My, Jesus Christ has done the salvation plan. Please, let the good people hear that this is a beautiful scripture. He said, for I am not what? Ashamed, ashamed of the what? Yes. Of the gospel. Of the gospel of Jesus Christ. You see, so... So, dear there, Christians... There is something called the gospel of Jesus yeah. Christ. There's only one gospel. Yes, yes. Not gospel of Gandhi. Not gospel of Joseph Smith. No. Not gospel no, of... No, uh, no, no. Gospel of Jesus, Jesus Christ. and what does that mean? What is mm. that gospel? Only one gospel, one truth, mm. and one way to salvation. That's the it. gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. If you are watching, and you are part of the kingdom of God, mm. our message is: hold, stand firm, mm. and stand firm, because in the gospel of Jesus Christ, mm. it provides and salvation. And he went on to say, "For it is what the." Power, power reader. of God. The gospel is the power. To salvation for everyone who believes. You know, I love that. The gospel is the power. It, it, it cures, it cures diabetes. It cures yes. appetition. Yes. It cures anxiety. It cures distress. The gospel is the power mm -hmm. of what? Of God. Of God to what? To salvation. For everyone who, who does believes. It. Everyone who believes. Ah. And he went on to say who? For everyone. Then for you, Jews and for the Gentiles. You see how amazing. When people say Jesus came to the Jews <laughs> first, he said to the That's Jews what first. That's I now don't understand. Jesus came from the whole world. Mm. But we all have lost our way. When we believe in Jesus Christ, there is only one God. And that God has sent his only begotten son mm. that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. So he said to the Jewish first yes. and also the For Greek. The Greek. So you see that the Greek there is the Gentiles yes. and the, the Jewish, Jewish are the are men the, who are under the covenant. Ones, yes. So if somebody tells you Jesus only came for no. the, the Jews, no. that was under the law. Yeah. But when Jesus died and rose from the dead, the door of grace is open to all men. Okay. Why just, would Jesus die the rose from the dead yes. and send his disciples to the whole world? Yeah. Why would Jesus do that? That's what. So, uh, why would Jesus do Why that? would Jesus, uh, because when people said Jesus only came to the Jews, no. that is under the no. law, but after Jesus died and rose from the dead, yes. he commissioned his yes. disciples to go into the what? The world. Yes. Who lives in the, yes. the world? So if you say that Jesus came only for Jews, he will not tell Paul to go into the nations. That's right. Go to the world and preach the gospel. Mm. And fallen short of the glory of God. And that's what God has paid the penalty of our sins. My goodness. That whosoever believes in him, mm. the whole world, mm. if they believe in Jesus Christ, will be saved. My goodness. There is only one God who has done the salvation plan. My goodness. So if you go to the same Romans chapter 3 verse 23, listen Are to what finishing? Very soon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm sorry, my Bible is uh, this Bible you need a sandwich. To, you need a stand. <laughs> you need a sandwich and a cup of tea. <laughs> okay, three? Three verse twenty-three. <laughs> three twenty-three. Yeah. What does the Bible say? Okay. For all <laughs> It says, for all have sinned for all and fallen have short, sinned and of, fall the glory short of, God. of the glory of God. So my dear friends, when, when sin entered, when we all sinned against, we broke, sin means breaking God's divine law, transgression of God's law. And we have sinned, our generation, our forefathers, mm. we all have sinned. So it says, the wages of sin for all our sin. Okay, when we all sin, we got disconnected. 
spiritual death happened then and then. Isn't it? Then what does he say? He says, for all have sinned. Ah, fallen short of the glory of God. Sh short of the glory of God. Yeah. But then go to the verse, next verse. Being justified freely by his grace. Through the redemption that is in Jesus Christ. Through the redemption Amen. of I Jesus I love you, my Jesus Christ. And, and you see, if you go to 6, mm. 6 verse 23, there's something, 6 verse 23 as well. The same Romans, 23. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does he say? 23. For the wages of sin For is the, death. You see, when we say the wages, you know when you work in Max Spencer, after you have put in a lot of hours, at the end you of the paid. month, yes. you are expecting your yes, wages. Yes, yes. And that wages, you need it to able to pay your bills, your expenses. Yeah. So when the sin, mm. sin, sin is what separates yes. us from, us God. from God. So the Bible says, for the wages of sin is what? Is death. And this death, Mm. What is it? What death is he talking about? Is it the, it's the physical? spiritual death? Mm. Physical and spiritual, both. So because we were disconnected from God, disconnected, and then physically we are dying. Again. So when Jesus came, the death of Jesus is bring us back. Yes, yes. People need to understand that yes. normally when we say Jesus died, some people don't get it. The death of Jesus restates us spiritually. Yes. Because God is spirit. So it reconnects us back spiritually to spiritually connected. connected. So he said, for the wages of what? Sin is death. And but when you carry the name, but, verse, the, gift but the gift God of God is what? Is eternal life mm. in Christ Jesus our Lord. You see how beautiful it so is? So the free gift is Jesus Christ our Lord. The gift of God is, is eternal, eternal life. life. Through what? Jesus Christ. You understand? Not so unless you believe in Jesus Christ, there is no eternal life. Because he is the... Uh, one who gave his sinless life on the cross. The gift the of God yes. is what? Eternal life. life. Through what? Amen. You see, through Christ. So that's what Jesus said. I am the way. Yeah. And the truth and the life. No one. No one goes to the Father except through me. And let's that's look what? at two. Uh, today we won't be long here. Ah. Just go to Jude chapter. Jude. Jude, Jude chapter 1 verse 16. Jude, to Jude, Jude. 20. It's the only one chapter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. The Bible said it is appointed for man to die once. Yes. You see, I spoke to a friend and he said he wants to die before he changed his mind. And I before? Said he changed his mind. And I said, my good friend, when you die, the ability to change your mind is not there. You understand? Okay, Jude? Jude chapter 1 mm -hmm. verse 16 to 20 this is a beautiful scripture read take your time for me here verse 16 verse, read you see you know sometimes when you come to the park and the fire of god is burning in your spirit you understand people think oh this lady is crazy the love of god Inside zealous you. for God. You understand? I so, am zealous for God. So what is Jude saying? This Jude is Jesus' brother. Mm. Uh, what is he saying? These are grumblers, complainers. These are grumblers and complainers. According to their own lust. Mm -hmm. And they mouth great swelling words. You understand? Flattering people to gain advantage. So there are people, they specialize on using all kinds of strategies, different conversation. You understand? But then, verse 17, what's the Bible saying? But you, beloved, remember so, the words which So, Jude is saying, but you, beloved. Ah. If you are watching, he said, but you, beloved, do what? Um, uh, remember the words. Remember the words. Which were spoken by the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hang on a minute. Hmm. The words which were spoken by who? Apostles. Who are they? Uh, they are the followers of Jesus Christ. They are followers of Jesus, the apostles of yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. Right? How they told you. How they reminded that you. They were, there would be mockers. That the, the, road will not, the road will not be easy. They will mock you. Who will walk according to their own ungodly lust. You understand? They will not prioritize on the truth of God. Mm. They will not prioritize on the truth of God. Yeah. According to the apostles of Jesus Christ mm. reminded you. So if you 
you are watching, mm -hmm. if you are in a ministry, whatever you do for God, any shape or form, mm -hmm. the scripture is reminding you to be strong. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. The apostles of Jesus Christ reminded us that mm. the road will not be easy. You understand? Mm. Please carry on. Okay. These are sensual persons who These cause men divisions. These who talk are like not having the spirit. You see what does that mean? Of God. What does not having the spirit? Yes. What does that mean? Not and having the spirit. You, you're not guided by the Holy Spirit. They then. are not guided by the Holy the Spirit. The one who mockers and mm. you know they are not guided by Holy Spirit. But he said they are not having the spirit. It's yeah. very important. Yes. So uh, we want to encourage you. Mm. Those who are talking negative, mm. they don't have About the spirit. Jesus Christ. They don't have the spirit. No. But verse 20, what is he saying? But you, beloved. Take your time. I love this. Uh, take your time. Yourself. But beloved. Upon so he's saying to Shalini, mm. Shalini, beloved, do what? On your Building yourself faith. up. Praying in the Holy Spirit. Build, so Shalini, the scripture is telling you, don't give up. Mm. You are on the right praying, course. Praying, praying in the Holy Spirit. You Keeping understand? yourself in the love of God. Looking Building yourself up Lord. in your most holy faith. You know, sometimes he said, oh, this, uh, I want to go to gym and maybe six months mm. to go and work on my cardio mm. because you want to be fit. Spiritually, he said, we building need, yourself we be, up. We need to be connected, connected. with God every time. And build up yourself yes. in your most holy faith. So if you are watching, we feel the need to encourage you this afternoon the wonderful lady is here, Shalini. Yeah. You understand? I would just like to say one encourage word. When it says building up yourself in the spirit, as Christians, you know, Jesus said, don't be lukewarm Christians. Either be hot or either be cold. So, in, uh, Jesus said that uh, when we study the word of God daily and we pray, we meditate, we spend time with God daily. That is spiritually feeding your soul. So my dear friends, as Christians, reading a Bible every day, praying every day, starting your day with God's word and prayer is very important. And we know this world is getting more wicked day by day. As Christians, your armor is the word of God. And as Christians, we have to wear the full armor of God in this world because our fight is not against the flesh mm. and the blood, but against the principalities and evil forces of the darkness, which is Satan the devil. So, so when you wear the full armor, which is Jesus Christ, Jesus is the helmet of salvation. Jesus Christ is the breastplate of righteousness. Mm. Jesus Christ is the belt of truth. Jesus Christ is the sword, the word of God. And Jesus Christ is the shield of faith. So my dear friends, when you have Jesus Christ in your life, you don't have to worry Christians. Please come out and preach the gospel of God because the, these, the whole world is lost because of Satan the devil. Devil is roaming like a roaring lion whom to devour. So dear friends, believe and that God has given us the power. No weapon formed against mm. us can prosper. So don't be worried. Your armor is your God. And oh, that is you. Jesus Christ. He Amen. said, building. So continue building. Building yourself yes, up. Yes. If you are watching our message, spiritual this faith. Spiritually. Building yourself up, yes. meaning you need to fuel more strength. Yes. And in order to do so, you need to stay connected. Yes, yes. You need to stay connected. The Holy Spirit is one of the most powerful agents God yes. has given yes. to the household of believers. Amen. And if you are part of the kingdom of God, I mm. want to encourage you that the Holy Spirit is ever present. Holy Spirit is our comforter and He's our guide. So when we have connection with our God daily, mm. Holy Spirit is living inside us. My goodness. So my dear friends, don't get scared of the devil. Look in the eyes of the enemy and destroy the strongholds of the devil in Jesus' name. You, you. Every Christian should say, I can do all things mm. through Christ that strengthens me. Without Christ, we are nothing. But with Christ, 
we can do everything in this world. In Jesus name, God bless you all. God bless you. We came your way this afternoon to exalt you, to make sure today I have the wonderful lady here, Charlene. She has fired up. She has, given, she has given the good people a new manner. Mm. She has fed them with a spiritual manner. The Lord richly bless you. And we want to continue to remind you, please, come back home. Stay connected. Amen. If you have left Jesus' boat, our plea to you is come back home. Can I say something? You say something. Tell them So, something. brothers and sisters, as Christians, don't get scared in this world. Jesus said, many things will happen, but let not your heart be troubled. Mm. Believe in God. And Jesus tells us, go and preach the gospel, baptizing them, and go and preach the gospel, teach and baptize them in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So my dear friends, as Christians, come out. We are, what is within us is stronger than what is in the world. So dear friends, our Jesus Christ lives inside us. We are the temple of God and as Christians we have the word of God which is the sword and no weapon formed against us will prosper. My dear friends, my dear friends, I just pray as Christians don't get scared of anything. Come out and preach the gospel. In the Bible it says for the righteous sake the days will be shortened mm. and in the Bible God Jesus said many are the afflictions of the righteous but I will deliver them from all so don't worry about tomorrow let tomorrow worry about itself come out and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ is the only way the truth and life eternal no other way to go to heaven god bless you all amen once again we want to thank you for the time that we've spent the lord richly bless you and make sure you subscribe to revelation channel amen. it is the best like channel is <laughs> Is the best channel yeah, in the like speakers to, to breathe you a new come, air. Come and say like God and bless you so very much. Okay. Wherever you're watching, God bless you.